Omotke is far beyond our expectation. It's the safest way of owning a house. My mouth is full of appreciation to Federal Mortgage Bank. to you and thanks for joining us once again on the program everyone deserves a home i'm your regular host zulaihat belagubir welcome to the program the ministerial pilot housing scheme was created some years back to serve as another means of providing affordable housing to nigerians the product has lived up to expectation as it has provided homes to so many nigerians across all states the goal is not stopping anytime soon. That is why more estates are being established under this product. In this episode, we'll see another success story under the Ministerial Pilot Housing Scheme product. We shall also get to know how many units of houses are being developed and how the project is progressing. We'll wrap up the program with the story of another NHF beneficiary as he shares with you how he was able to become a homeowner thanks to the National Housing Fund scheme. The program takes off fully after this timeout. The Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria wishes to notify its pensioners that the bank is conducting the 2022 pension verification exercise beginning on the 30th of May, running through the 8th of July 2022 from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. The locations and dates for the verification exercise are as follows. FMBN pensioners in Kanu will have their verification exercises at the bank's branch office in Kanu starting from the 30th of May to the 3rd of June 2022, while that of Inugu will take place within the same period at the FMBN branch office. The branch offices of the FMBN in Port Harcourt and Kaduna will be the venue for the verification exercise for pensioners in these places. It will run from the 6th of June 2022 to the 10th of June 2022. That of Ibadan and Gombe centers will begin from the 13th of June to the 17th of the same month at the bank's branches in these places. As for the FMBN pensioners in Lagos, their verification exercise has been scheduled to take place at the Mamman Kwantagora House of the Bank starting from the 20th to the 24th of June 2022. Also taking place within that same period is that of Calabar with all FMBM pensioners in the area expected to assemble at the branch offices of the bank in Calabar. As for the Kwara and Sakoto centers, the verification exercise of the bank's pensioners will begin on the 27th of June and end on the 1st of July 2022, while that of Joss and Imo will come up at the branch offices of the bank and scheduled for the 4th, running to the 8th of July 2022. FMBN pensioners within Abuja and Environs have been slated to have theirs at the bank's headquarters within the period already outlined. All pensioners are expected to come along with these requirements during the exercise. Letter of Employment, Letter of Retirement, Pensioner's ID Card, BVN, others are one passport photograph, email address and phone number. Announcer, Management. The program tonight will begin with news highlights from the diary of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. And on the news tonight, Access Bank meets with the FMBN management to deepen collaboration. And Ministry of Works commissions houses under the National Housing Project in two states. Details coming your way shortly. A delegation from Access Bank of Nigeria, PLC, recently paid a courtesy visit to the management of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria to show its support to the new management, as well as map out ways to deepen collaborations with the bank. Speaking during the visit, Managing Director, Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, Madhu Hamman, assured the team of the bank's willingness to boost partnerships to make the bank deliver on its mandate. Being one of the biggest banks in the country definitely would uh, need your services in certain areas. Also look at new areas where we can improve as you've uh, stated, you've now turned to a, a holding company. So definitely you're going to have um, a lot of subsidiaries under the 
the holding company. So where we can also cooperate in those areas who are willing to look into them. Speaking earlier, General Manager Access Bank PLC in Sikak Usuro, who led the team, noted that Access Bank is willing and ready to work with the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria to sustain and maintain a good working relationship. Of recent, we have actually migrated into a whole code company. So the bank is part of the whole code. And then other companies under the whole code company includes the, we are coming up with a payment solution company, a, a lending company called Lenko, a PFA as well as PFC, and a stockbroking uh, arm of the business. And uh, we also have the African Foundries Foundation, which is a, an innovation hub that is being nurtured by the bank. So there are a whole lot of opportunities and other areas that I think um, as you lead the team and as you intend to achieve other things under your leadership, I think you see us as a very good partner to work with the FNDS. As part of its efforts in addressing the housing challenges in the country, the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing has commissioned houses under the National Housing Program NHP in Gwambi and Taraba states. In Gwambi state, a 76-unit housing project was commissioned. The project comprises 48 units of two-bedroom, 24 units of three-bedroom and four units of one-bedroom bungalows. Representing President Mohamed Buhari at the event, Minister of Communications and Digital Economy Dr. Isa Ali Ibrahim noted that the completion of housing estate was in line with the President's election promises providing affordable houses for Nigerians. Ibrahim, on behalf of the President, commended Gombe State Government for allocating the land to the Federal Government to enable the project. Speaking earlier, the Gombe State Governor, Mohammed Inwayahaya, who was represented by the Deputy Governor, Dr. Manasi Jato, assured the federal government of the state's willingness to support the federal government in actualizing the laudable project. Also speaking, Minister of Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, SAN, who was represented by the Zonal Director, National Housing Program, Northeast Zone, architect Usman Bashir, stated that the houses are being offered to members of the general public in a non-discriminatory way through the National Housing Portal to ensure that those interested are not inhibited by artificial obstacles. In a related development, another set of 76 housing units have been commissioned under the National Housing Programme in Jalingo, Taraba State. President Mohamed Buhari, who was represented by the Minister of State for Works and Housing, Moazu Jajisambu, commended the state government for making the project a reality by providing the land for the houses. Representing the Honorable Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Raji Fashola, at the event, Director, Public Buildings and Housing, Architect Solomon Lapafilo, noted that the houses comprising four units of one bedroom, 48 units of two bedroom, and 24 units of three bedroom bungalows have been commissioned to improve and promote the welfare of the people of Taraba State. Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Works and Housing, Mr. Bashir Nura al Ghali, who was also represented at the event, said the ministry is promoting local content in line with Executive Orders 3 and 5, which has stimulated the economy through the production and use of local materials. Speaking on behalf of the Governor of the State, Secretary to the State Government, Honorable Anthony Jalasson, noted that the housing program is a way of providing decent access to housing for people of the state, adding that the state is partnering with the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria in order to reduce housing scarcity in the state. You're still watching Everyone Deserves a Home. The Ministerial Pilot Housing Scheme is a collaboration the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria shares with the Ministry of Works and Housing to provide housing for low-income earning Nigerians. Coming up in our next segment, we'll showcase one project in Ondo State under the Ministerial Pilot Housing Scheme. Keep watching as we bring you details of this project.
The Ministerial Pilot Housing Scheme is an idea of the Ministry of Works and Housing, which started in 2013 to collaborate with the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria to provide affordable housing for Nigerians. Since the commencement of the scheme, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria being the financier of the MPHS has invested over 20 billion naira across all states to provide houses under the Ministerial Pilot Housing Scheme. One such project under the scheme is the Meadowville Housing Estate, located at Alagbaka Ilara Mokin Ondo State. The project is being developed by Meadowville Building and Construction Company Limited. This is for the, one of our projects, which is called the Ministerial Pilot Housing Scheme. It's meant for federal civil servant, state civil servant, and any other NH of contributors. Anybody that contributes to the NH scheme is liable, is affordable to subscribe to the housing unit. The project is a work in progress and has some units already completed with off takers living in them, while other units are at different levels of completion. 60 units has been approved for this phase with about 300 million naira already disbursed. So far, they gave me 300 million naira. And to God be the glory, we have used it to, to work on the 60 units being approved for me. And so far, we came out with, a, with an excellent product. We, we did three bedroom, three bedroom, and switch. We use Gerard, parapets, um, POP, ties, and everything. The houses comprise of three bedrooms, fully detached bungalows, and will be made available to NHF contributors through three options of purchase. We use on three major pro, uh, outlets: one, direct purchase rent to own and through the conversion mortgage arrangement. As it is with all FMBN funded estates, some infrastructures have already been made available and although the FMBN is yet to make disbursement for infrastructure, the developer has made provision. We did, we did not collect any money for infrastructure, but here the infrastructure is now is about 200 million on the road network alone that was charged to us by our contractor. And uh, we have the water, it's in the estate already, why the electricity, is, you can see the pole, it's on ground. Why the fence is moving on. So I think we are doing the best. The security is super. Presently, you could see that uh, there is a construction of uh, drainages, roads, electrification, uh, the circulation of water, which are under processing. Delivering quality is non-negotiable and the developer works to ensure that quality is in no way compromised. Seeing the estate, whoever comes here, we really know that yes, the quality of job can, is spoken for himself. We don't even advertise much. There's nobody that advertises on selling of this estate. People that pass by see the quality of the estate and because of that, they subscribe to the Estate. The plan for this project is to build 150 units of three bedroom bungalows. The FMBN, as it is with all of its projects, is delivering this project in phases to ease the work and to ensure the completion of the project according to set standards. Stop, 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 stop. Sorry, comrade. Thank you. As an up to date contributor of the National Housing Fund, I will advise you to just apply straight away for a mortgage loan. Yes, there are several types you could apply for. There is the rent to own a home loan. There is the cooperative loan. I mean, there are several of them. Instead of paying so much money to these Shylock landlords. 
at the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. Everyone deserves a home. Welcome back. Hussein El Hassan is our beneficiary for this episode, and as the saying goes, patience is a virtue. Although his journey to home ownership took a little while, his patience earned him and his family a place to call home, and today he is living happily in his own home. Keep watching as Hussein shares his story with us. This may perhaps inspire someone watching to be just a little more patient. The payment process is quite flawless. It was unbelievable because I didn't know that they have such a scheme uh, existing in Nigeria. Is it true that I will get the house? No, why not? You met all the requirements, so you get it. The joy of ownership is wonderful. Husseini Al Hassan is a teacher with the Kaduna State Government. He is the happy owner of a three-bedroom apartment at the FMBN NLC TUC NECA housing estate, Millennium City, Kaduna. He tells us how the process began for him. I actually lost, I actually lost National Housing Scheme through a prince and some of my relations that are saying something about the National Housing Scheme. National, I say, but it is one day that I check my my pay slip, I see some deduction of national housing fund. I say, what is deduction for? So one of my friends, I said, no, it's for house, national housing scheme that you can afford, you can afford the get house through this, through this, through this. So I say, okay, so how? He said, you can go to, there is one national mortgage bank in Kaduna, you can go and confirm. So one day, an auntie to me, tell me that she's going to mortgage bank. I say, okay, let me follow. When I went to them, they explained things to me that I didn't believe then, actually. Just thinking that they are just sending it to me. At some point, he lost hope because the process seemed to take long. But one fateful day, he got the call he wasn't expecting. I actually spent more than three years for this process. I said more than three years. Come tomorrow, go there, bring that, bring that. All thinking that this is just a scam. It's, it's, it is not a thing that's going to be helpful. So one day, I went to visit one of my child in a school. I just had a call that, where are you? I tell them that I'm, I went to, for visit, I, I went to visit my, my child. So they say, okay, if you, are, if, you, if, if, if you finish early, you can meet us at the estate. I say, okay. I just quickly finished without even finishing. I was supposed to leave there at 3 o'clock, so I just leave there around to 12. So I quickly meet them to 12 as they say, okay, so through what we have done for you, you have been profiled to have a three bedroom plot, block of plots. Today, Hussein, his wife, and three kids are living happily in their own home, which he got at the cost of 5 million naira only. The repayment is one beautiful thing he loves about the house because he will not in any way be constrained to repay. Even if I'm still living in a rented house, still I'm still I'm still saving the money monthly so that I can have the money to it's almost the same thing with this, which is even more better. That one will never be my own. But this one with time. And even if God, if God see me through maybe i can get another money from another source from somewhere that i can even finish the payment the house hussein has lived in his house for about three years now before then he was in a rented apartment and for eight years he was living in discomfort a lot of challenges between me and the landlord do that do that even there's even one day that he even asked me to go out with my car out of the house but now, nobody, I can park anywhere. I can park around the gate. I can park any, without anybody disturbing. So even the wife of, the, the wife of my landlord, because we, we, we share the same compound, the way they treated my family so badly. So okay, I said, so since I now have my own, that two months, just 
let me leave the place so that I can be very happy, just so that I can live happily with my family. So since when I left, since when I pack, I'm telling you, there is no any challenge I face. He calls on Nigerians, and particularly NHF contributors, not to lose hope on the scheme. But let people be pre with their mind to just go directly without even moving through anybody. Let them go to FNB and that's Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. Is there in any is there in any state of the nation of the country? Hussein says he never imagined he would be a homeowner at this point in his life. But thanks to the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria and the NHF scheme, he now has a house of his own. For this, Hussein says he will remain grateful to the FMBN. Our question for the week is, what requirements must I meet to access any FMBN loan? For one to qualify for the National Housing Fund loan, the first requirement you must be a contributor to the National Housing Fund scheme. That is number one. You have to satisfy that criteria. Once you have satisfied that criteria, the next thing is to uh, identify the property that you want to purchase. You can get it from any estate developer, uh, private estate developer. You can get it even from uh, individuals who are ready to sell their house to you. But once that property has a good title, so once you satisfy this, the next nice thing is to also approach a primary mortgage bank. These are the mortgage loan originators, you understand, that uh, normally interface on your behalf with the Federal Mortgage Bank. Uh, the primary mortgage bank is the one that will package your loan. There are certain things that you need to also meet up as far as the requirement of the primary mortgage bank are concerned. You have to open an account with them, an account for the purpose of that mortgage loan, not salary account. They will also need your uh, three years uh, a tax certificate. They will also need uh, most current three months pay slips. They will also need evidence that you are contributing to the National Housing Fund. So once you satisfy these requirements, then they will package your loan to Federal Mortgage Bank. Federal Mortgage Bank will process your loan, approve the loan. When it is approved, then disbursement is made to the PMB that package you. It is the PMB that will also pay to the developer or to the individual that is selling the house to you. So in the final analysis, when this is done, he is handed to the beneficiary, to the beneficiary. It is the aim of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria to make accessibility to the NH of loans as seamless and quick as possible. But sometimes hitches may come up and that cause delays. Like you saw with Hussein, remain patient and do not give up. It will surely pay off someday. Join me again next week, same time, same station, for another edition of the program. For further inquiries, log on to our website on www.fmbn.gov.ng or call the number currently showing on your screens. You can also visit any of our branch offices near you for more information. See you next week and do have a pleasant night rest.